I was at the Argentum conference three years ago and first discovered Eversound uh, and we ended up testing it in a couple of communities and now have implemented it across all 22 of our communities and uh, for me it's, uh, it's been very rewarding to see the benefits to the residents um, and the way it's uh, continu continually utilized throughout the communities. Um, we, oh, we, we try a lot of new things now, you know, from time to time, and sometimes we roll them out and they get used for a short period and then we don't see them anymore. Um, but every time I visit our communities, I see our residents and our staff engaging with Eversound, uh, and it's really made a huge difference uh, with the residents. So uh, I'm excited to be here at Argentum to find uh, the next Eversound and things that we can continue to add to our programming for residents to, again, improve the quality of their lives, which is overall what our mission is. So. Well, I mean, residents so with diminished hearing, uh, for sure. Um, and you know what we've seen is um, <clears throat> it's it's been very good for music programs. But beyond that, um, you know whether it's um, resident council meetings or just general, uh, um, we have outside speakers come in. Um, you know, there were a lot of residents that wouldn't come down or wouldn't engage because they couldn't hear what was being said. Uh, and now just to see them be able to participate uh, along with the rest of the residents. Uh, we've even, even used it on outings when the residents go out and we do you know, uh, outings with the bus. Um, there are a lot of residents who couldn't hear what was going on and what was being talked about and now they can hear that. So it's really helped them to be part of what's going on and, and to really engage more. So I would say that's the, the predominant uh, resident, you know, uh, but that's a big part of our population, uh, residents with you know, hearing impairments or hearing loss. So.